father's back on his hell's kick again. He went dogging and took Vicky with him. He said he was going to run five miles. Now I know why he took Vicky with him. He needs someone strong to carry him home. <laughs> I'll, I'll get it. Nothing. It's a joke. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Vicky put me down. <laughs> Ted, that's not funny. You scared me half to death. You scared me the other half. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Bye. You know how I feel about all that jogging, especially five miles. My, five miles is nothing, right, Vicky? Right. Especially when you jog one and I carry you four. <laughs> oh, Vicky, you're so cute. Now, why don't you go jog your cap? You know, honey, you should exercise more. I mean, it keeps you healthy. You see, that's why I never get a cold or any of that other stuff that's going around. Do I look like I need more exercise? <laughs> Not right this minute. But you got to think about the future, honey. I mean, one night you could go to bed looking like Shelley Long and wake up the next morning looking like Shelley Winter. <laughs> magnetic personality and get me that can of soda, please. Use my magnetic personality. <laughs> oh, thanks. My mom has a gun. Her flab is coop. <laughs> well, like the dad said, it's important for a woman to, to keep her health and to keep her figure, to keep her husband's interest. Well, wouldn't you appreciate a lovely wife, Jamie? Not at my age. I'd rather have a hamster. <laughs> Hi. Hi. See anything you like? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Looks like Dad would rather have a hamster. I don't feel so very well, honey. I'm very, very sick. Oh, the big macho health net is sick. Poor little boy. My head is pounding. Aww. And my throat hurts. Aww. And the company doctor says I have the measles. Ah! <laughs> Relax, Joni. You've already had the measles. Jamie's been immunized. And, and a robot can't get anything. Not even a cold. I can get cold. <laughs> Stop that, Vicky. <laughs> Look at my eyes, honey. They're like two raw eggs with ketchup on them. Uh, Vicky, would you fix your dad some hot tea and honey for us to roll? Forget it, Buster. I'm pooped. <laughs> more exercise for me. Vicky, you better go make dad the tea before he exercises your plastic behind. <laughs> Got the picture. Oh, honey, I am so sick and so weak. Is Bobby going to take care of Baby Kitty? Of course she will. Now, Baby Kitty, lie down, and Mommy will get the thermometer and take the baby's Kempy Wempy. Okie doke. I think I'm going to barf you, Archie. <laughs> ah, here we are. Uh, it's not the kind that goes in your mouth. I suddenly feel so much better, I can't tell you. <laughs> Joni, Joni, Teddy, Teddy, Teddy. When they told me at the office you'd come home sick, I rushed right over. Well, that was awfully nice of you, Brandon. Hey, I'm not just your boss. I'm also a warm, sensitive guy. Ah, I brought you something to take your mind off your illness, keep her from getting bored. What's that? This briefcase is full of work. <laughs> There's enough there to keep you busy for two weeks. Well, thank you, Brandon. What a caring friend you are. Hey. 
Brandon, I'm not sure how much work Ted's going to be able to do. And he should get as much rest as possible with the measles. <laughs> measles? At your age? Get a, get a itty bitty baby boo boo? <laughs> That's right. You better not get too close. <laughs> no problem. I had measles when I was a kid. Boy, did I look funny, too. My cheeks swollen out to here. <laughs> 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 I got news for you, Brandon. You didn't have the measles. You had the mumps. Mumps? A different itsy bitsy baby boo boo. You mean I could catch measles from you? Well, you probably already have. <laughs> Wait, Brandon. I'll take your temperature. <laughs> what a coward. Well, at least you found a great way to get rid of Brandon. Here is your tea. Oh, thank you, but you just nice. It's a little cold. Uh, could you make it hotter, please? Make it hotter. <laughs> oh, thank you, Vicky. It's a little weak. Uh, could you make it stronger? Boy, this guy's worse than a toe of a hun. I'll get it. Now, you lie down. Back here. My wife won't let me in the house. Why not? Well, when I was over there and I told her I'd been here and Ted had the measles, she threw me out. She never had them. What happened to your hand? I was trying to get in through a window. She slammed it on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm getting sick, too. I feel a chill. What are you going to do about a place to stay? Oh, that's no problem. I already found a place. It's real nice. They'll take great care of me. Cater to my every whim. Where? Here. <laughs> Here's your tea. It's hot and strong. Oh, thanks, Ricky. I could really use that to warm my little tummy. Warm your little tummy. Wake up. Morning, Brandon. <laughs> What's so funny? You. <laughs> you face. You look like Howdy Judy. Oh, yeah? Well, kids could use your face to play Connect the Dots. <laughs> ah! Stuck here with the measles. What could be worse? Being stuck here with you. But we won't be bored. You brought home enough work to keep us both busy for a month. Are you crazy? I don't do any work at the office. Why should I do any here? Good morning. How are you feeling, honey? I'm not too good. Brandon, in this house, I am honey. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, honey. How's your hand, Brandon? First, when I do this. Then don't do that. <laughs> well, you were asleep the other the bank called. Uh, they said that we're going to be overdrawn. You didn't deposit your paycheck yesterday? Well, honey, that was because they came straight home from the office because I felt so rotten. I feel rotten, too. I've seen your paycheck. Mm. <laughs> well, I'll just drop by the bank and deposit it. Oh, thanks, honey. It's over there on the desk. Oh, now, now, if anyone comes to the door while I'm gone, you wear those masks. I don't want you spreading all of your germs around. No, okay? Joe, no. Joe, you can't leave a man in my condition alone. Who's going to take care of me? Who's going to feed me? Who's going to give me my sponge bath? <laughs> don't overdo it, Brandon. I'll slam the window on your nose. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mr. Brindle. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Look at your face, Lou. I know. Don't remind me. Your eyes are like two raw eggs with ketchup on them. <laughs> oh, I look like a horrible, blotchy mess. Not that good. <laughs> hey, listen, why don't you send the kids to the bank, sweetheart? Yeah, I'll send the kids, sweetheart. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jamie, would you mind going by the bank and depositing the check for us? Sure, Mom. Anything to say 
to your poor sick father. No. But I have a message for Mrs. Lawson from my mother. Well, what's that, Harriet? She says if my dad gets really sick and has to be rushed to the hospital, don't bother to call if he's gone bowling. <laughs> Vicky, wait here while I go deposit Dad's check. Wait here. These darn money machines never work right. I can make it work. Oh, wait, thank you. How did you know how to do that? That's how my father fixes the stereo and me. <laughs> you know, Jamie, after we're married, we'll be doing a lot of banking together. You'll be putting all of your money into our joint account, and I'll be spending it. <laughs> Harriet, there's a fine line between wishful thinking and total insanity. You've just crossed it. <laughs> Next, please. Excuse me, kid. Hey, you can't do that, lady. My man has a very big deposit to make. Well, I have a very big withdrawal to make. Hi, dear. Hello. Hi, may I have some money, please? Oh, certainly. How much? Everything you've got. What? This is a hold-up. <laughs> you heard me, fella. This is a hold-up. Give me all your money you got back there. Sure. Right. You got it, lady. Stop calling me lady. You bet. Anything you say, ma'am. <laughs> Just take it easy. We don't want anyone to get hurt now, do we? Just take it easy. Here's your money. All right, everybody, in the back room. Let's go. Move it fast. No, you three kids stay here. Come on, move fast, fast. Okay, kids, up against the wall. Keep quiet. Don't make me nervous. I'm new with this. I warn you, ladies. My boyfriend here is an expert in karate. He has a black belt. She's only half right. I do have a black belt, but all it does is hold up my pants. <laughs> okay, come on. Get over there. Get over there. Move it. What are you trying to do, Harriet? Get me shot? Man, I'm supposed to protect his woman. You want everyone to think you're a coward? I can live with that. <laughs> this is it. Hmm. Won't even cover the cost of my pantyhose. <laughs> there's more money over there. What? I said there's more money over there. Good thinking, kid. But how do we get it out? Like this. Want to be my partner? Here's a 20 for your trouble, cutie. <laughs> You're real cute, honey. You're real cute, too, honey. <laughs> oh, no. You blew my disguise, kid. Now the cops will know I'm not just another pretty face. <laughs> you sure make an ugly woman. Just like my mother. She doesn't see her legs either. <laughs> you in the bank. Bank. Oh, shucks. This one's getting the hang of this. <laughs> the place is surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Do you hear that? He said, the place is surrounded. Man of you with your hands up. <laughs> Fantastic. Come here, kid. You two pick up the money. Tell him I'm not giving up without a fight. She's not giving up without a fight. Tell him I've got hostages. He's got hostages. Thanks. You're welcome. What are you doing? The score's tied. There's only a minute to play. You can see who won on the six o'clock news. What? This is my house and my TV. Yeah, but I'm your guest. Well, only because you forced yourself on it. I did. I did not. You did too. I did not. Do not. <laughs> I'm trying to watch a ball game, and he wants to watch some idiotic rerun. Gilligan Diamond is not idiotic. Knock it off! Listen to you two, grown men acting like babies. No, I know, sir. He started it. Give me that. Will you give me that? Ow, 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 ow. There'll be no more TV for either of you. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. 
robbery is in progress at the Elm Street branch of Second Citizens Bank. There are unconfirmed reports that customers, including three children, are being held hostage. No, Joni, that's our bank. We'll interrupt this program with further reports as they come in. We now return to Gilligan's... Uh, Jamie and Vicky are in there. Oh, it's Harriet. We gotta get down there. Come on. Uh, you'll never take me, coppers, as long as I got these hostages. Answer the phone, bullhorn mouth. <laughs> I don't trust these rotten cops. I better keep an eye on them. Second Citizens Bank. We pay high interest rates, low mortgage rates, and hold hostages. <laughs> what are they saying? The rotten cops want to know your demand. I know I want a getaway car. Big enough for me and you three kids and a pair of shoes with low heels in red. Hey, more bank robbers! No! No, no, no don't shoot! Hurricane, I got hurricane! What'd you say? We, we got the measles, we're contagious. Measles? Get out of here! Officer, it's all children in the bank. Oh. All right, that's different. You stay here, but don't breathe. <laughs> Officer, you have got to go in there and get my little girl out of there. You can go back later and get his kids. <laughs> right, take it easy. We're doing the best we can. Yeah, well, that's not good enough. All right, you give up now, or we're coming in with guns blazing. What do you mean, we? <laughs> Would you give me that and get back here before I lock you both up? So quiet out there, <laughs> making me nervous again. Jamie, just in case we don't get out of this alive, just once, tell me you love me. <laughs> Harry, <laughs> what can it hurt? I won't tell anybody. Oh, all right, Harriet. I love you. New hearted world, she's crazy about me. <laughs> Get the phone. Hello, hostage speaking. <laughs> What'd they say? They have your getaway car. Also a pair of low-heeled brown shoes. Brown? It's gonna clash with my purse. <laughs> I asked for red. All right, get over here. We're going. You lead the way. Us three gotta stick together. Got it? Got it. Stick together. Let's go. <laughs> oh, there she is. I mean, he. I mean, what is it? Kids, are you all right? So far, Dad. Listen, you don't need the kids. We'll go in their place. Right, Brandon? Right. He'll go in their place. <laughs> no, deal. As long as I get these kids, the cops won't touch me. Officer, oh, please do something. Lady, the man has a gun. We don't want the kids to get hurt. Maybe I can do something. Vicky, use your magnetic personality on the robber. Great. My kid's life is in danger. He's running a charm school. <laughs> use my magnetic personality. <laughs> what the heck is that? I don't believe it. Come on, get him! Get him! Right get him! Good guy! Jamie, you're all right? Oh, all right? Oh, thank heavens it's over your thing. No, thanks to Jamie. I thought he'd protect me, but I guess chivalry is dead. Yeah, and I didn't intend to join it. <laughs> no, for the life of me. I can't figure out why that guy threw the gun to the little girl. Oh, why? Well, uh, you know, I guess he was just nervous. I mean, <laughs> wouldn't you be nervous wearing a bra and pantyhose? <laughs> oh, you got the money back and the robber officer. You, you did a great job. A great job. Here's a 20 for all your trouble, beauty. <laughs>